hello guys and uh, welcome back to another episode of this I don't know ant wartime strategy game <laughs> it's gonna be a long journey so uh, I'll try to document every step of the way as you can tell I've been uh, pretty busy since the last time you saw this city I uh, jumped about uh, 200,000 power a lot of it being special ant power. So, uh, this video will highlight the uh, do's and don'ts of your special ants. Because, uh, well, there's a lot of things these ants do for you, and a lot of players don't know how to maximize the usage for these. So, I guess let's dive right into it. So, when you are doing your exchange for special amputation, you want to leave basically, you want to leave all of these. You want to leave all of them. You don't want to use any of those. You don't want to switch them into mutation spores. You don't want to do any of that because the, those are the ones you will need for all of the gold um, ants you'll need them for their skills to unlock all their basic skills like their third uh... another fourth fifth sixth and so on and for your blues if needed you can exchange them because as you can see there is so many of them you will have probably You'll probably have too many to even mutate into spores and then plus have extra. So those are able to be turned into mutant spores, but you want to skip these for sure. You don't will you do not want to do the purple special ants mutation to switch them into mutation spores. Because you will need them further on in the game. Now the green special ants, I mean you can do what you them. You can switch all of these, all these, and all these into mutation pod or mutation spores because you really won't need those unless you're trying to upgrade, say, this uh, blue ant. You're not going to need the, these greens. And if you do, you will only need maybe five of them. So you can get rid of those at any rate you wish for spores etc you want to push their skills as far as you can you want to upgrade all these skills as high as you can possibly get them I mean I have ways to upgrade them obviously because uh, I've been sitting on some of the mutation spores but um, you want to at least save some of them for the mutation event and as you can tell here we need 10 special blues and a gold shell ranger or shield ranger shell so basically I need another one of these ants another one of these gold ants so I can unlock this one and I'll need the blue specials like I said you will eventually need the purples as well here's two orange special ant shells so I would need in theory two of these and for this one here, I would need three orange special ant cells with four million honeydew. It, the honeydew is quite extreme, but these skills will help you the most. As you can tell, they have a purple background. That means that they are like a, I guess we can say an epic skill. So they have a higher percentage and max percentage than the skill of, let's say, the purples or the blues. And basically, you just want to push these skills as far as you possibly can. Like, uh, my purples, they have some skills as well, but my main march has both of my golds in it. And both of my golds have high level skills. But as you can see, this one does not have this skill. And he doesn't have this skill. And that drops the power here by over. 
35,000. Uh, closer to 36, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So, it it's a pretty drastic change for the skills. And you want to do max possible you can with the special lands because they're the hitting power of your troops if you you know hit an attack or throw a rally the troops damage their defense all of that is coming from your special ants and your evolution your skills all of those things so you want to get the most out of those so you make sure you aren't wasting time money or precious materials on any of those. That about wraps up the do's and don'ts of your uh, special ant habitat. Just want to make sure you do all your hatches every day, so you maximize the amount of like a uh, special ant uh, shells. I think they're called the special ant shells. You want as many of those as possible when you go to upgrade their seals. And, yeah, that's about all. Uh, thank you for staying with me till the end. And leave a like and subscribe if you learn anything or if you have another suggestion, let me know.